What's up, people? It's your boy Guns of Poker back with another video. Um, as you can see, that is actually not me. That's Matt from uh, Never Enough Ammo. Um, this is going to piggyback a little bit um, off of his Second Amendment video. Uh, the title is The Second Amendment in You. Um, basically, what he touched on is um, how you should start responding to people when they ask about why you carry or do you carry, why do you feel the need to have a gun, things of that nature. Um, I'm not going to touch so much on that because, uh, other as opposed to something I actually want to share with you all, but um, I do want to say how I normally um, answer that question when people ask. Um, I, I live in Texas. Um, here in Texas, rarely do I have people ask me why do I have a gun or why do I need to have a gun or why do I feel like I should have a gun. Um, I guess this is pretty much just you know part of part of uh, the culture in Texas um, or at least where I, where I am and the people that <clears throat> I interact with on a regular basis um, however the people who do actually ask why I carry a gun how come I feel the need to have a gun and things of that nature um, is normally Christians um, is, is this is not a bash on Christian thing uh, I am a Christian man um, so I'm not bashing Christians uh, however most of the people who do ask me ask me they are um, they're, they're Christian people, and their their feelings is pretty much, you know, um, if, if you're saved and you believe in God, God will be there to protect you during any situation. Um, I'm not going to uh, agree with that or disagree with that, um, but how I respond to that is, most of they just ask, well, why do you have a gun? I mean, you're, you're a Christian. You don't, you don't think God's going to protect you and your family? And my immediate re response and I don't. I don't want to be an asshole when I say it, but I know I come off as an asshole. Um, I guess a little bit. I, I. I'm. I'm kind of a. I guess I'm kind of an asshole when I when I make this response. But anyway, my response is normally, "Do you have car insurance?" <laughs> and mostly they say yes. Uh, I also ask, "Do you have trip away?" And they say yes. And my response is, "Why you don't believe that um, <laughs> the good Lord will uh, prevent your car from breaking down or catching a flat or anything like that? You don't think?" Uh, he could prevent you from having a car accident, things of that nature. Um, it's not a great response, but it, but it's a it's a realistic response. Um, <clears throat> us as humans, we ensure things that we place value on. We do whatever we can to protect things that we feel is valuable to us, or to our family, or to our livelihood, or to our life in general. Uh, one of the things, for instance, would be don't you lock your front door or your door when you leave that's to protect your valuables, that's a safeguard that hopefully that will be a deterrent to stop somebody from coming into your home and taking what um, is rightfully yours. Um, I, 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 I use that same line of thought for why I carry a gun. I feel my life is precious. Um, it's not up for grabs and one of the things that I uh, use to protect myself would be a firearm. Um, same, same, that same logic goes for my friends and family members and even strangers I do not know. Uh, I do think life is precious and for that reason alone we should carry a firearm. Um, as we all know who are actually gun owners laws do not stop good I mean bad people from purchasing, purchasing firearms or getting firearms or using firearms. They, It's just not going to do it. A law is going to stop a criminal. That's the reason why they are a criminal. They break laws. So. The laws only hurt those who actually care about the laws. So uh, that's pretty much it for the Second Amendment thing I want to talk about now. The second thing I want to bring up, um, to kind of piggyback again off of uh, Matt's um, video, is here in Texas there is a law firm, law firm, um, the Texas Law Shield. Um, you can go to the, you can go to the website www.texaslawshield.com, and I'm gonna let you guys see the intro really quick, and I'm gonna talk on it for a uh, brief second. Check it out. President of Walker Rice and Wisdom PC, and welcome to Texas Law Shield. Our law firm's revolutionary approach to providing comprehensive and affordable legal representation through membership in our unique Texas Law Shield Firearms Program, whereby our staff of lawyers are on retainer to defend you under the various programs offered below, all for no additional attorney's fees over your annual membership retainer. As a Texas Law Shield member client, you have the peace of mind knowing that should the unthinkable happen, you will not have to spend tens of thousands of dollars defending your freedom. Your attorney fees have already been covered 
apply your Texas Law Shield contract. Check out the programs we offer for concealed handgun license holders and for non-CHL individuals and families. Become a Texas Law Shield client today. Thanks for stopping by. All right, guys. Basically, what you see, um, this is this is a law firm that's based out of Houston, Texas. Uh, Walker Rice and Wisdom. Um, basically, these, from what I learned about this, um, all the lawyers are Second Amendment advocates. They're all gun owners, gun enthusiasts. They all hold a CHL. Um, actually, I, I came across these these um, this firm um, during uh, my CHL class. They had mentioned it. Um, they, they offer one or two programs. The first program right over here to your left is Concealed Handgun License Legal Defense Program. It's for CHL holders, so you already have to have your CHL or your CCW, depending on where your state is, for others who um, don't live in the state of Texas. Um, you defend, you know, what they say here is you defend your life and property, we defend your freedom. Um, to get the protection now is 1095 per month. Um, from my understanding, when I already read this, that 1095 is going to cover you, whether it be daytime, nighttime, anytime. God forbid something happens where you actually use your weapon. <clears throat> they are there to start defending you from that point on. Uh, you don't have to worry about a public defender. You don't have to worry about looking for an attorney. They are your attorneys. They are on retainer for you, point blank, period. Um, to the right, your other option is home slash auto legal defense program. This is for non CHL holders. Again, the state of Texas, um, they do have a castle law. Thus, we can actually have firearms obviously in our home. We can also have them in our vehicle and do not have to have a CHL permit. Um, this protects you, let's say that you're in your vehicle. Uh, God forbid you're in your vehicle, somebody tried to carjack you, put a gun to your face, use your weapon, or if you're in your home, someone kicks in your door, use your weapon. Um, again, this your other option. It says you defend your life and property. We'll defend you. Once again, you get the protection now. It's uh, eight eighty nine dollars for the year. I believe that covers um, individuals. If you want you and your spouse, I think it's um, roughly double that, and minus like ten bucks or something like that. Um, I'm just curious to know: Do you guys have any law firms um, in your states that have something like this, where you can actually have an attorney or a firm on retainer? Just in case, God forbid, they don't think what happened. You actually have to use deadly force or just use your firearm um, at all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, bid response to this to your video, uh, Matt. Hopefully that you approve it on there. I'm just curious to know if others uh, have anything like this. Also, you're in Texas, so you might want to check it out too. It covers um, the entire great state of Texas. Um, so doesn't matter what part of the state you're in, you're good to go. Uh, anybody who's out of the state of Texas, if you have a law firm similar to this or if you know anything like this is going on in the area, feel free to let me know. Please comment and all that good stuff. Alright, that's about it. Y'all be good. Peace.